Hi, this is Steve. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video. Uh, as bad as this is going to be, the last one uh, didn't work at all. Anyways, originally I was going to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, the new book from IDW, as well as uh, the oldest stuff from uh, Mirage and um, was it uh, Tundra, and I think they did some stuff for um, was it Image, I think, for a while. And anyways, I was going to go through uh, and talk about that, some of the differences and changes that uh, they've made with the origin. Um, but I'm going to hold off on that since I, I'm not exactly sure where my uh, Ninja Turtle books are. Um, I haven't unpacked most of the boxes since we moved here about a year ago. And uh, so I figured um, I would quickly go through, uh, a, not the entire small box, but this is show, as I mentioned before, I love Westerns. I love the Western movies, uh, Western TV shows, and uh, Western novels, and of course, Western comics. Uh, this is a small box. Pardon me while I get up. Um, as you can see, small box is a full of uh, my, my Western books. Uh, there may be some in another one. Uh, these are our best of the West, uh, which are the books from AC or AmeriComics. And uh, I have quite a few of the early issues, which started out um, this size. Um, weird size for a comic. Here's that next to a, a regular um, size uh, or at least a Silver Age uh, Charlton book so you can see the difference. And then they went to a, a slightly larger size which you can also see the difference here. And uh, they were all uh, Best of West is in uh, black and white. Uh, they did a couple of uh, special issues that were in color. Uh, and all the stuff from Best of the West, with a few exceptions, I think uh, Black Phantom. Uh, they did some new stories with Black Phantom. Uh, but most of them, uh, this is the Haunted Horseman, which uh, was originally uh, the, uh, the Ghost Rider. But for obvious reasons, the name was changed. I also have uh, some other AC reprints in here, fun comics, Bill Black's. Uh, this is uh, an original from uh, there was the Paragon Comics, uh, which if you're familiar with those, I uh, had a lot of uh, uh, original and uh, characters for which uh, Black got the copyright rights. And here's uh, Apache Skies from Marvel's uh, Max series, Blaze of Glory. Uh, Americana Group's Blazing Westerns, another reprint. Uh, as you can see, uh, Art by Severin, Glansman, Williamson. Uh, AC Westerns, again, Blazing Westerns. Um, a lot of the, as you can see, um, Gunslingers from Marvel, and Two Gun Kid, Caleb Hammer, a uh, classic uh, character, and uh, a character that was sort of uh, briefly, I think there was only one or two issues of his book, sort of a uh, Marvel's attempt to update their Western characters and get into the whole spaghetti Western type of thing. Uh, not too successfully. Um, although, uh, I don't know if they ever brought the character back. Someone more familiar with Marvel, uh, Marvel Western characters, would have to uh, let me know. Since, uh, I mean, Jonah Hex seems to be doing well. Uh, Low Ranger uh, keeps going back and forth. So I, maybe uh, Marvel ought to uh, try to do it. And this time, not make. Uh, one of the characters um, 
well, we, we all, it was the Rawhide Kid, I think, who uh, um, was changed to be uh, to be gay for no uh, for no reason. Uh, not to say anything wrong with that, but it, it's just an odd sort of thing, as I recall, and I don't think it went over too well. Anyways, uh, what I really want to show you are some uh, some Silver Age uh, westerns that I have. Um, I took this one out of the bag and I really should put it back. This is Gunmaster from Charlton from uh, 1966. Um, and you can see this is Gunmaster with the bullet, the gun boy. Clay Boone, the quiet gunsmith who hates violence, is forced to use his gun genius to fight evil. Ride with him and his buddy Bob as he once again becomes Gunmaster. And that shows you the special guns that uh, Gunmaster has uh, modified uh, 45, which shoots uh, 12 bullets, and uh, a tube gun who carries in boots, can fire flares, gas shells, small modest shells. He has a clip fed, cut down carbine for uh, long range power and a snub nosed 38 extra fast drawer. Did they really have snub nosed 38s back in the West? What do I know? The guy is a gun genius and gun master, so I guess he could pretty much do what he wanted. Um, anyways, this uh, is interesting. Uh, not, not great, not uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, Gunmaster was one of those, you know, the masked Avenger, uh, much like uh, the, the Two Gun Kid um, over at uh, at Marvel, and as countless other characters, uh, Red Mask uh, comes to mind, um, and uh, some other characters, uh, including the Lone Ranger. Uh, of course, and they're all pretty much knockoffs of uh, of LR. Speaking of which, um, I don't know exactly what issue this is. Uh, I have it in catalog, but uh, here's uh, Lone Ranger from Dell. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's, there's Tonto in the back there. It says December, but I don't know what December of what year. And here's another one uh, from May. I took the price sticker off, which probably had the date or the issue number. And uh, you gotta love that cover, right? Um, I have. I think this issue is older than than this one because uh ranger is in um is wearing a red shirt and i think by the time the tv show came out uh the ranger was always in in blue so uh, maybe again maybe someone knows 52 page comic book the Lone ranger here's one for august 10 cents this is number this is number one ten. Um, what we're gonna do one ten. Read the perfect disguise. And oh my goodness, does someone actually have uh, the drop on the Lone Ranger? Might not be good. Maybe Silva can help them out. I don't know where Tonto is on that one. And I don't think the book doesn't feel like it was still fifty two pages at that time. So it might have and but still ten cents, so okay. Um this is uh classics illustrated. Um men, guns and cattle. Uh, one would have to assume that let me take this out of the bag. This was thirty five cents. Uh pricey at the time. And uh, this was December 1959, and uh, it doesn't say. 
Um, I have to assume this was based on a book or maybe uh, various short stories, um, which is what it is. It's, uh, it's an odd mixture of, of serious uh, men's guns and cattle, so of serious stories, and some light-hearted ones uh, here in the back. This is uh, cool Hoopas and the Cactus Cats. Um, very uh, weird sort of thing. And uh, bears rereading, I think. Um, again, uh, covers falling off, and uh, see the pages are brittle. But uh, you gotta love that kind of stuff, right? And here, I don't know who the publisher was on this. This is Western Fighters, featuring Buckskin Benson and Muskrat. And uh, you're going to love that. I don't know if you can see that. Pop Hurry, the Sneaking Redskins, want some fire stick medicine. I'm coming, Danny. Boy, oh, but true stories where the gun was law. Um, yeah, let's let's see who uh, who did that. Hillman periodicals. This is 1951, June 1951, when young Steve was about. Uh, barely six months old. Uh, wow, that's kind of cool, huh? And you gotta love all the ads and stuff on the back, uh, where they guarantee to save you money. This is a uh, shock resist watch. For active men, bang it, drop it, and throw it. Seven ninety-seven. Sweet. And uh, this is Western Fighters number twenty-four. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, nope. I'm sorry. Wrong tag. Wrong tag. Here is <laughs> Del Giant number twenty-four in very good condition. October, uh, December, twenty-five cents. Nine bucks. You know what? I don't care. This this was uh, pretty much um, a compilation of various licensed characters that uh, Dell had at the time. And the Wagon Train with Ward Bond, Wells Fargo with Dare Robinson, Buffalo Bill Jr., Rin Tin Tin, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, Jace Pearson, and Range Rider. Um, all right, if you can tell me who Jace Pearson is, um, you know a lot more about, um, the stuff than I do. I have no clue, and I, I mean, I used to watch all these shows, Wagon Train, Wells Fargo, Buffalo Bill Jr., right? Rin Tin Tin, hey, what is that, was, uh, Wells Wild Bay Hickok. Danny Divine, right? Hey, Wild Bill, wait for me. Um. Anyway, uh, and for Juicy Fruit, I rambled. I um talked to you about so I uh, I love I love Western comics. Um, are they they're certainly not politically correct? I don't know whether they were politically correct back then, but uh, I love them. They're a lot of fun. Um, and I think except for, for Jonah Hex, I don't think The Lone Ranger is still being published, is it? I don't know. Uh, I picked up a couple of uh, trade paperbacks um, of the, uh, the series. I can't remember who was publishing it. 